everybody, Joe Workman here, and today I am really excited to introduce you to the new Agent Stacks. Now, several weeks ago, we had a very great conversation on Weaver Space, and we were talking about how on mobile devices, we really should probably be displaying a lot less content than what we do to our desktop and tablet users. Users are mostly on the go on their phones, and maybe they don't need to have all the information that they have accessible to them on the desktop. And on top of that, they have smaller screens and a lot slower bandwidth. So why are we sending the same content that we do to our desktop users as we do to our mobile users? I know you've gone to a website that you've scrolled through endlessly, endlessly, because the web page is like 10 miles long. Is that good user experience for our websites? I don't think so. Now we've had tools over the years that help us, right? They help us hide content on mobile, on tablets, and, and basically based on the device, we can hide our content, right? We have several stacks, visibility stacks, and in stacks three, we have the responsive settings built into every stack so that we can easily hide things on mobile devices. Now the keyword is, it hides content on mobile devices, but that content is still there. So what can we do? How can we completely stop loading content on mobile when we don't want it? Well, that's where the agent stack comes in. Now, when your user visits your website, your browser sends an HTTP request to the server. And what happens is the agent stack is there listening on the server and it's catching what's called the user agent data, hence the name. So with this user agent data, the agent stack knows exactly what device, what browser your client is on, and what platform or what operating system they're running. So what agent does is it actually customizes your content just for that user and only sends the data that you want down to the browser. Now that's cool. So now if you wanna show 100 image gallery to your desktop users, go right ahead. They're probably on a blazing fast fiber connection, right? But your mobile users, maybe you just show them one or two images, right? We can now do that so easily with the agent stack. Now you might be thinking, why would I need to customize content based on the platform or operating system that our users are visiting from? What if you are developing some software and you wanna have a custom download link for your user. Maybe you have a Windows version and a Mac version, and maybe you have, um, you know, you wanna provide download links to the iOS app store and to the Android store. Well, now with the agent stack, you can give the exact download information that your visitors need based on the device that they're visiting from. Now the agent URL stack allows you to customize content on your web pages based on the subdomain of your URL or parameters passed to the web address. This gives us a lot of flexibility. Now I'm gonna give you a few use cases here, but I'm sure you guys are gonna come up with so many amazing uses for this stack. So let's say you're displaying some product information on your Rapweaverse page. Now, if you were to pass some parameters to the URL, you can load the same web page, but load the information for product B. That's really cool. On your About Us page, maybe you wanna customize the office location based on parameters passed to the URL, from San Francisco to London, for instance. Now, the last use case is really cool. The agent URL stack is a great way to develop multi-language websites. Now, in this example here, we'll notice that if I click on one of the language links down below, it will dynamically change the content on the page. Now, I've defined this quote area here in three different languages. And by clicking on these links, it simply adds some parameters to the URL for language equals German or Portuguese or English. Now here's a really cool feature of agent URL. It actually can magically store your user's preferences between web pages. So by going to the agent persist page, we'll notice here that the language is the same exact language that I clicked on in the previous page. I didn't need to add any extra parameters. The agent URL stack just remembered that I chose German earlier on. Now I can easily switch back to a different language just by clicking these links below. 
And if I were to refresh or go back to another page, AGE World would remember those settings as well. So I see this is a great way of customizing content and allowing your users to maybe define the content that they wanna see in a different way. So that's the agent stacks, everybody. I hope you see the power and the potential that these can give you in terms of streamlining your content for users' devices, as well as really making it more powerful and allowing you to develop websites faster using the agent URL stack, especially with this multi-language. If you wanna build a multi-language website, I mean, the agent URL stack is the thing, I think it's the most streamlined, easiest way out there to accomplish this. So I'm really excited to see what you build with these stacks, because like I said, the possibilities are really endless. I'm really excited to see how you leverage the agent URL stack and the agent stack to make your sites even better and more customized for your visitors. So until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks everybody. Bye. I'll be back.